and welcome to another video by ES Repair. Uh, in this video, what we're going to do now is we're going to install expansion cards. Uh, this is going to refer to your PCI or your PCI Express, um, depending on what hardware you're going to install. Uh, if you're going to install a graphics card or if you're going to install a Wi-Fi card like I'm going to do in this one, or whatever the expansions you're going to add to your motherboard this is what we're going to do here now with the computer as you can see in previous videos I've got the motherboard installed I've got the uh, hard drive the optical drive installed I've got my solid state drive installed back here in the back and I've got my card reader installed so the next step we're going to do is we're going to install the expansion ports or expansion cards now if you look in the back and lift this up, you're going to notice these slots that back here. Now you'll notice I've got this one already opened up. This is because this is a slot that I'm going to need. Now these are very easy to pop out. Uh, they're lined up with each slot that they're going to use. For instance, uh, if I use this first one, which is a PCI Express 1 channel, then I would have to remove this top bracket. Now, if I wanted to use uh, this one, I'd have to take the second one. So each one of these are lined up to a specific slot. Now, as you can tell, I'm going to be using this slot for my Wi-Fi adapter. So I took out this uh, cover for the slot. Uh, most of these will pop out. You just have to have a screwdriver and they pop out. Uh, some of them, depending on the case, uh, you just lift a latch or take a screw out and the cover comes out. It just depends on the case that you ordered. This one in particular, you just take a screwdriver and it pops them out. Now, once you have the necessary slot removed, the next step is to insert the slot into the motherboard. Now, just the same rule as anything else in this computer, you don't want to touch anything except the edges. Now this is going to be the Wi-Fi adapter I'm going to install. Now as you can tell, this is a PCI adapter. And this is a wireless N. This, as you can see, it's not very big uh, for the adapter. But because of the design, this is a PCI. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and remove the antennas. Now, in your case, the antennas won't be attached, but I had these attached when I was showing the preview of my videos. Let me just move them out of the way. Now, with these adapters, there's only one way that they're going to go in. You'll notice that on this side, they have a small U, and this is where a mounting screw is going to be inserted. Uh, here, you have the antennas. You have a light that shows you the activity, and you have a nipple that you sit right here. And what this does, that it will go down to the very bottom part behind the sliver between the motherboard and the case. This is just a little slot that these will sit in. It's for the bracket. And then you have the angle right here that goes on this side here for the screw. Now, when you insert these, take note because PCI Express and the PCI are two completely different uh, um, slots, configuration. For PCI Express, the, uh, the notch is towards the back of the computer, whereas in PCIs, the notch is towards the front. So, what you want to do, don't get the two confused because they will not fit. Now what you'll do is you'll take the card, only hold it by the edges, don't hold it anywhere else. You want to line up the notch, as you see here. If you get this notch on this side, you want to make it sure that you match the notch on this side. This is what allows them to line up and only connect in one way.
and it'll sit like that. Now you may notice that the lines on the uh, port will match. So once they match, go ahead and gently push the card all the way in. And you'll get to the bottom as you see here. Now you should be able to see the notch down here at the bottom. If you can't see it, I do apologize, but I'm trying to show you where that notch is. You want to make sure that notch matches. And the face plate should be flush with the back plate. Now you'll see the hole which lines up with the, uh, the slit inside the bracket. So now you need the screw to mount it in. And there you go. Now you don't want it too tight, you want it just hand tight, but tight enough just to make sure that this doesn't come loose and because you don't want this to wiggle because it will uh, ruin the, the slot. Now as you can see here, it's all fully inserted. Everything is in place and everything fits accordingly to the specs as it should. Now you'll do the same exact thing with any other one you want to do. Now to make things a little easier, you want to start at the bottom and work your way up depending on how many cards you're going to insert. Now I'm just going to insert one and this one here I want to use for the Wi-Fi because of course it's going to have the antenna sticking out. Now, we're not going to insert the antennas at this time because we want to make sure everything is full and we're going to uh, be moving the case around so we don't want to damage the antennas. That will be one of the last things that we do. Now, once you have everything done, uh, now you'll be ready to move on. Now, take note, when you're doing PCI Express, especially the 16 channel, uh, which is this long one here, you do have a latch that sits on the end and this latch will engage on the uh, motherboard. Now one thing I do want to point out, uh, you'll notice as I mentioned earlier about the PCI Express, let me show an old card that I had and you'll notice that the pins on these cards are different than what the PCI uh, cards were. So you'll notice there's a big difference. Now the graphics cards are always bigger uh, because they, they produce a lot of graphics for videos. Now you'll notice this nipple right here, this little spot that you see. Uh, this is on the edge. If you insert these into the slot as such, this will latch on to this right here and this way it keeps this side of the card pinned down and then you got the screw that keeps the other end. It provides um, uh, attachment or connection on both ends and secures the card on both ends. And that's the big difference between a PCI Express and a PCI card. Uh, the PCI Express 16 will have a a latch on here that will attach itself to the card to help secure it in. Now once we have this done here and you have all your expansion cards installed now we can move on to the next step in building the computer. Well this concludes this video. I am your host Mr. Fixit. Stay tuned for the more videos by ES Repair while we continue to build the computer. Thank you for watching.